What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook him. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. And we're live. Welcome back to part 55 of the full game commentary and playthrough. Arthur spent the night as a guest of the local Santini law enforcement. How did he get here? I can assure you it was all a big misunderstanding. I'm your friendly neighbor at Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. That's my girl. <laughs> How are you? Just fine, thank you. J'en suis ravi. Easy there, girl. Hey there, mister. Good morning, mister. You're a brave girl. Well, friends, we finished with Algernon and are back on Sassafras, Tilly's Leopard Appaloosa. And we have a letter waiting for us at the post office. We better collect it and see what's up. What the hell got your band up? Hi there. Ma'am? Happy to assist you in a moment. Nabe is service. Second invitation from Mayor Lemieux, June 1899. Monsieur Kilgore, I could not have wished for better fruits from our unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our gallery are quite rightly authenticated and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good graces of the mayor and, to use an Americanism, I feel I still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. As before, come to the back of the mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you again, your friend, Henri Lemieux. Okay, girl, just a scratch. Move out of the way! That mayor will not leave us alone. We shall deal with him later at night. As for now, it is a nice day in Saint-Denis, and we have business in the alley by the Jade Dragon. Hey there. Hi. Hi. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> and Charles Chatonnet looks very exotic with a Japanese influence, almost like a geisha. Also note how he didn't bother shaving. I don't get the feeling this disguise would hold up, even at a distance. He needs our assistance. Okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away, we will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis, they say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right, but it doesn't matter, now I go to South Pacific. South Pacific, Charles is talking of course about Tahiti, seems to be on everyone's minds right now. And Charles Chatney is in good company of course, Paul Gauguin visited Tahiti in 1890. Eugène Henri Paul Gauguin, to quote Wikipedia, was a French post-impressionist artist. Unappreciated until after his death, Gauguin is now recognized for his experimental use of color and the synthesis style that were distinct from impressionism. Toward the end of his life, he spent 10 years in French Polynesia, 
The paintings from this time depict the people and landscapes from that region. And here is a quick Google image search of Gauguin's Tahitian period. Note his distinctive use of color and form to capture the sunlight and spirit of the islands. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the ports and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So oppressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! I shot in the bar! Quick, behind here! This is the cleverest part of the mission, using this trolley as cover. <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas, you, you share on their bar? Charles has a lot of opinions and is not shy about sharing them. My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? Wiki! <gasps> We are lucky Arthur is in a good mood today. This day has taken an interesting turn. Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds? The whole in the face. We go there. Ain't no place for hillbillies you like you in town no more. Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the Hush! Hey! I may know these people! But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? Purple. Much like Catherine Braithwaite and Marie from Breaking Bad, the fancy ladies of Saint Denis love purple. We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during not. With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. <laughs> And this whole mission is a light-hearted version of almost the exact same scenario at night, later in the chapter, if you know what I mean. We shall get there soon enough. Too soon, if you ask me. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. 
Relax. Hey, up here. She is my sheep. <sighs> we made it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. We and we get into a little scrap here. Let's get out of first person and go to work. He's out here. Arthur didn't mean to pull out his M1899, but we might as well clock him a couple times. Serves him right for pulling a knife on us. I was the best. Uh. Charles, come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. South Pole. Arthur just told a joke. And who said Arthur didn't have a sense of humor? Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. And Arthur is glad to see him go. However, much like Algernon Wasp, I think Arthur will miss him. Very colorful people in Sandini, completely outside of Arthur's experience. And that is just great, we caught a witness. Luckily, we know how to swim. And I was hoping we could just tread water under here until they moved along. However, our stamina is draining rapidly and the cops are onto us. Move up! Come on! I see you! Stop that bastard! Very fortunate this ladder was here. Stop and stay safe. If you move again, and that's the last thing you ever do. Okay, you got me. Okay, this is enough now. You're coming in. And we can run, fight, or comply. We might be able to shoot our way out, however, waking up in the old Iron Bar Hotel would make a great intro. And we are back where we started. Let's move on. Easy there, girl. Hey there, mister. Good morning, mister. You're a brave girl. 
And back home in Shady Bell, dumb Micah has a dumb plan and has been wanting to speak to us for most of Chapter 4. We better go see what he wants. They were nice too. Everything was very... All right, come here, Arthur. You got a fever or something? I mean, it's too cold to dress like that. How nice for you. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> Michael will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. But I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? And note dumb Micah's great leather jacket, one of the best in the game. However, it's far too hot and heavy for Shady Bell. Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight! No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm Bill, not some... And at this point, Arthur decided to see how much trouble he could cause by bumping into Baylock with Sassafras. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're your proof of that. Amusing. Ugh, damn it! Charm! And a little money. Right. Easy! Arthur is trying to herd Micah into a tree. Hey, control that horse! Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? Idiot! Son of a bitch! We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying... Huh? We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Sir! Christ! Uh, go what are you doing? strong men you want and leave. Can't you ride, damn it? Let's see if we can drive him into the river. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. Shit! Let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. And here is Micah trying to poison us against John. Also note how Micah has adopted a speaking style that is very similar to Dutch's. Micah is copying Dutch and trying to create a conscious or perhaps unconscious association with Dutch, and also his leadership style. Interesting. It might work on Bill. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned challenging every move Dutch makes. 
I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him watch out 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even... Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives pla- Okay, let's break out the Evans. Really like that Evans repeater. And it so should be coming through any minute now. And we shall not need the shotgun, no matter what the game tells us. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. William, you take the other side. Can we shoot dumb Micah's dumb hat off? Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook him. And the answer to that question is no. We better try again, just to make sure. Perhaps we can shoot the heel off his boot. Here they come! You okay, I guess we better go to work. Gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something! And we are supposed to shoot the dynamite as the coach rolls over it, but I want to spare the horses if possible. Really don't want to kill a horse on this channel. We better loot this coach and see what we got. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. And we have no time to admire that beautiful Sandinese sunset. We need to follow Micah and see where he goes. <laughs> 55 bucks for our trouble. Trolling Micah, however, priceless. Thought we might have some dynamite left over. Pretty sure we cannot hurt him or Baylock. And that Baylock can run. Do it! 
we can't even target Micah. I get worried. Okay. Oh well. How about the lasso? Whoa! Why do you let yourself get so head up? Calm down, we idiot. Well, that was embarrassing. Pretend that didn't happen, and let's move on. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Yep. Okay. Evening, Arthur. Managing not to annoy folks? Very funny. Looks like we lost Micah, but at least we have Bill. I was being serious. All right. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members-only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. After that kiss from Charles Chatenay, Arthur wants to see Mary now. Don't know why. I'll see you in part 56. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail, uh... How are you, Mary Beth? Good. How is the big party at the mayor's house? Oh, not really my thing, but we got some good information out of it. Wait, uh, I always used to say. Not the dog, no, please. Not this again. Oh.